Hey guys, this is Snapcrap. Welcome to the Sister Star Cup English commentary. You're gonna be watching the final set of KCM 2024 season five, week four, set number eight. And we've been so fortunate in the last four weeks to always have the full eight games every single week. I mean, it's been it's been a it's been a thrill. It's been a ride. I'm getting burned squatching these guys digging it out. No, I'm just kidding. I'm completely bored to death here because I don't play Terran nor do I play Zerg. But let's move on with the final set and let's enjoy our weekend ahead. Do you have any plans? My plan is to do a lot of sports, a lot of working, and maybe some StarCraft, but not so much. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit busier than before, uh, and I'm making a lot of money, so you should be happy. You should be happy. I'm making a lot of money. You don't have to buy me coffee anymore. If you buy me coffee, it would just be for coffee. I would not use your money for for water or you know some other purposes. But anyways, there's gonna be a rush by Speed here. Uh, true to his name. He will build something, I think, somewhere. He will see the... Uh, oh, what is he? What is he? Oh, but he reveals himself, right? I think... Oh, what, is, what is his plan? His plan is to steal the Zerg's gas? Hmm. Interesting. I, I don't understand this build. I don't understand why he's... Uh, you know, out here uh, doing these kind of harassments. But uh, I guess, uh, yeah, can someone explain to me why would the Terran player go for such an early, okay, he does go for the gas deal, but a little bit later. Yeah, I guess the timing was just not right. He was hoping to see that maybe uh, Zealot would, you know, force an early extractor, but he doesn't. He just gonna let the, ex the refinery go down. Um, but what is the implication of this move, right? You know, sacrificing an early uh, SCV and then steal the gas. The enemy has expanded. That means he will have surplus minerals. You need to do something about those minerals. He will need to make a spawning pool and he will need to make zerglings for sure, but he cannot tech up. Will he take another hatchery somewhere else? And looks like Zealot is gonna expand. Wow, what the heck is this build, man? He's forced to expand because he's got very slow spawning pool. Behind this, we will have a factory. This factory is okay, but it would not be able to stop the expansion. A single factory would not stop an expansion. And you need to have, you need to have four or five marines. Just a couple of vultures would not kill the hatcheries quick enough. Uh, and if, I think, if Zelot plays the card outright, he might be able to get to Hydrus quick enough to, to fend off those forces. He needs to make sure not to make drones from his expansion, from his third base. He needs to just make drones in his main and the expansion, but low, slow gas means that his Hydrus will come out very late. Um, can you go to Sunkens without gas? I think you can, right? You don't need gas at all to go for Sunkens, so at least you can you can wall himself off with the Sunkens. But keep in mind that Speed is also sacrificing. He's sacrificing his his economy to go for this tech rush here. He need to it needs to pay off for him ASAP. Um, but for the timing, the, I think it might be better for Zelot to go for second extractor. No, there's gonna be a quick expansion. Okay, so I guess these games are all so high level that I don't understand anything at all because it looks like now speed goes for an expansion out of just a single factory. Um, gas count is coming up slowly. Zelot 40, and he will go for hydrant end. He will go for hydrant, I think. It's gotta be the hydrant end. Uh, and we need to have a sunken at all as, as well because we will have the first version of the sunken is finished. That's right, so the third base, he will make what? He will make drone and that's a mistake, man. He need to make nothing from the third base. He doesn't have enough any of anything to save it. So he will cancel his egg, I think. Uh, he will need to cancel whatever he's making now. The SCV sees that the Vultures is waiting for that egg to, to complete, to hatch, to go and snipe whatever you have there. Uh, it might be an overlord. Yeah, one thing he can make is overlords. Yeah, I think... I think he's making no blood. Okay, so everything is working out fine. So like I told you, going for the hatchery works well in this case against a quick factory uh, because the factory cannot take down the hatchery. Uh, but Speed, I think, is not that far behind because he will have an expansion. He's going to go for Vulture with Speed. He will attempt to run by the first Hydras is out, so those Vultures get pushed back. Now, is, uh, Speed's going to be very careful because massive Hydras will be a problem. The question is, looks like Zelon is switching back into Lair. This might be a genius move. He is, of course, both the players are playing very heavy military style here. Both the players are not making a lot of workers. Uh, 
especially Zanot, he doesn't have any drones at the third base, but these Hydras will be able to force his enemy into thinking that there's going to be massive Hydras flood, but there's going to be mine here, so maybe the lair is going to be for overall speed. Uh, he might be timing the Hydras to attack together with the Overlords. Of course, the second base for uh, speed has completed, so he is going to be mining, having some extra minerals. These Hydras are a little bit slow right now. Uh, the tri triple Vultures looking to go for run by. They can run by in several locations. They've decided to run by here. They don't have speed. Now they're going to try to lay some mines. There's going to be a mine drag maybe, and there is going to be a great mine drag, but all of the Vultures will die. So it looks to me like Zealot survived. He will get one drone. No. Not even a single drone kill, so that was a botch operation, a botch sex change. Um, no, no, not a sex change, just a botch operation in general. There's going to be a spire, so it's not going to be a quick rush to overload speed. It will be a quick rush to mutualist. Behind this, we have double factories, and the armory is on the way, so that's fine. But we don't have enough anti-air for the moment here to attack. Uh, and Zealot has played his cards right because now he's got the information advantage. The enemy doesn't know what he builds inside of the main base, he doesn't have scanners. So by switching into Mutus, he will be in a great position. He now Vultures have speed. The Vultures are gonna start to snipe the drones. One drone down, two drones down. At the last minute, all of the Vultures would die, but every single drone has been executed and Zealot has, has been pushed back to square one in its third base here. The Spire is 40% done and Speed Vultures once again come out in huge amount. Going for that expansion would be a great idea as well. Because otherwise those drones would just get sniped anyways. It might as well be good to use them you know, for some static defense or just make some production buildings. Yeah, Vultures coming here. They're going to try to try to corner the, uh, the, the Hydras. The Hydra gets pushed back. They will at least be able to save. Oh my god! The drones gets attacked uh, by the mine here. A single drone that, that hatches died. Uh, at the last minute, looks to me like these vultures try to go in the main they would this single vultures cannot do much he will get on the high ground though that will be problematic this is a full health vulture he's got zero kills but he will see the spire he will see the spire in the corner and this is a mistake we need to have mutants coming out to support soon uh and go for the quick attack looks like speed might have just enough time he's got three kills on a single vulture already he will go on the low ground he will no he will go and just run around in circle he gets another draw not yet he gets it so so fortunate there for speed but now Zelot has got five meters the turret's gonna start to come out uh, I think there's gonna be just enough time for speed to hold right he's ahead with about 10 supply uh, and the Zerg player has got very few drones all around very few drones but let's see how the next battle will ensue here we have seven meters eight that's a lot of Mutrius production. Um, he comes for the expansion. There's only a single turret now. There are, there are two turrets. Where are the Goliaths? I don't see it. Where are these Mutrius going? Uh, they're going to try to go inside the main tier, but I don't know if that's going to be a good idea or not. More drones are going to get created. Vultures once again going for run by. They will start to snipe some drones. And these Hydrates are attacking the wrong thing. They need to attack the Vultures, not the mine. They clear some more Vultures, but trading Vultures for drones is exactly what he wants to have here. Uh, these Mutrius this might be better to be used defensively, I think. Uh, Zenot, is it worth it for him to expand again? I don't know. Uh, I need to think about something because the, the you know the, the mid-game plus one weapons mech attack is imminent. I think he will wait for plus one when he attacks, I think. Uh, with tanks leading the charge protect by Goliath. So, you know, the Zerg player is got to have to deal with that and how he deals with that is got to be what determines this game here. We have nine meters waiting to go in. Uh, double elevation chamber and, you know, going to Queen's Nest. Okay. Um, is this... Excuse me. Is this going to be one of those moves that tries to go towards Queen? It could be the case. If he's going to be going to Queen, that would be something very interesting. Um, uh, all right, hold on. Let me just quickly fix my mic here. Okay, uh, looks like Queen's Nest is done. And does he go for def uh, does he go for high or does he go for just massive queens? Uh, because one of the things that you can do with queens, in addition to uh, to you know making baby queens, is you can go for that green glue thing, right? Uh, let me just use the right terminologies before you guys all shoot me. Uh, baby queen is broodlings, spawning broodlings, and you know, green glue thing is, I don't know, ensnare, yeah, ensnare, is it ensnare? 
<laughs> Maybe it's in snare. Uh, anyways, this collides. Push up, but they're gonna return home now. So both players are gonna be playing cautiously. So looks like speed might, excuse me, uh, Zealot might be getting ready to expand towards the 7.30 position. That base is the usual base, but no, he expands towards the inner 10 o'clock position instead. That is also a smart choice. That base could get shelled from behind by the tanks later. Uh, but of course, uh, you know, playing on Ministro, you have to deal with that fact at some point. Anyway, see where exactly is this Vulture thing he, he can actually go? I don't know, because there's Zerg forces everywhere. It's like, you know, operations behind enemy line that Vulture is like a spy in World War II, right? You know, going to various German towns and speaking the German accent uh, and luring German women to bed. No, I'm not sure about that. Anyways, Goliaths are pushing these mutualists back and Zenod is living on borrowed time. He needs to either get huge amount of economic power going or go for some crazy tech switch because the next Terran push is going to kill him off right. Uh, he's having a mixed Hydras and mutilist army. I don't know about this, but anyways, he will force a cancellation on this command center and this is a great move. It will set speed back a little bit here and speed is forced to dedicate the rest of his Goliath to try to save that base. He will not make it there on time. The command center has fallen. There's going to be Hydras, Observers, excuse me, not Observer, Overlords are going to get sniped. Hydras comes out and pushes Goliath back. So for the time being, Zealot is able to get a slight upper hand here, but he gets pushed back with, by this very, very strong Goliath. We have plus one weapons upgrade on the Mutus group. We have the fourth base coming down for the Zerg player and the third base coming out here. Looks like Zerg is coming up to five bases and Speed is coming up to three bases. Got plus one weapons and plus one armor and this next attack is going to be chilling. I'm getting burns. I'm, you know, it's a chilling attack, but I'm getting burns. I don't know why, because I don't want to sound like another commentator. Looks like there's going to be a huge amount of ground forces coming from Speed in the middle. This might be the final battle. Looks like we're going to be having backstabbing action from Zealot. He wants to stop the reinforcements from the back and try to force the player to come back home and bring the fight towards the Terran main base here instead of towards his new hatches and Queen start to come out. This game starts to look very interesting, but is it early? Is it uh, early enough here? The Queen need time to generate energy. How much energy is needed for that ruling thingy is it 75 or 100 i don't know i think it's at least 100 right it's not like high templars where you get it right away once you spawn your high templars anyways this ground forces is so strong man i mean speed is on the move and uh, Zelot he needs to hide his queen because they will get sniped he goes and he hides them that's gonna be very nice here Looks like Hydra's coming from the other side of the map as well. We have a single SCV trying to hug a drone. The attack commence now. This might be the final the final attack or it might be not the final attack depending on how the outcome will turn out. Looks like Zelot makes some Hydra's and they explode right in the front here. Looks like attack coming from all sides. Do we have the Queens getting involved now? This is going to be a major battle. Looks like one side of the force gets there earlier than the others. But now the chair is going to get surrounded from all sides. More attack. Where are the Queens? Nice blocking building here. How many tanks remaining? Four tanks remaining the rest of the hydras coming and reinforced from the back side i think there might be just enough you just need to kill the last time you can get the last guy that goliath a piece of cake he does that he gets the last time and speed gets crushed by zealot what a nice result the rest of the tank cannot reinforce you know in time here uh, and the queens are still alive the queen are still generating energy they will be used in the next battle and all of the five hatcheries are saved so Speed just shot himself in the foot, but good thing for Speed, he's got a new base. He's got a new base, of course, uh, he's got to be very careful. At least the Zerg player is not going for Lurkers. He cannot attack with Lurkers from behind. The tanks are sieging. He's going to try to attack. Hydras are uh, plowing forward here. These tanks are sieged up, but they're so close towards the Hydras. But at the last minute, they push all of the Hydras back. Two tanks remaining, very strong, heavily upgraded tanks that push all of the back. All of the speed is up by about 20 supply. These queens are waiting in the corner. Uh, it might as well be good to deploy them right now. But in the next battle, I think, uh, before you lose all of your hatcheries, that hatchery has been, you know, bleeding for a while. He need to engage the queens now. The hatchery will fall. If he loses the hatchery, the game is over. This overlord will die. And looks like in the last minute, the Goliath start to come out. He's going to look for what now? He goes for the attack. One, two... Three, all of the tanks all died and the queens all get saved. That was a nice genius move from uh, Zenot. And look at this, guys. He's on even supply with a Terran player and he saves. He keeps all of his basic. We have a command center? No. Okay, yeah, we do have a command center at the two o'clock position. So the hidden uh, command center goes up by speed and does Zenot know about it? He's going for the offense. He says, you know what? I have the upper hand. I will push you all the way back into your farm. 
you know, whatever, into your cage here. And Hydra's gonna be coming from the back, but this is not working really well because Siege Tanks works better behind Mineral Line. We will have Double Queen coming out, and those tanks died. It's a genius move. And look at those baby queens just infesting everything here. And Commander is uh, forced to get lifted, and Speed is losing supply fast. He's still ahead a little bit by supply, though, but that differential will be, I think, nullified in uh, just a couple of seconds now. This Roach is coming out here doing some nice attacks, though. So that's good. And will they try to... Okay, look at this, guys. I did not know that the mine explode on the X as well. Very, very fun to watch. And he will destroy those Hydras, will bleed and explode the moment the mine come out. But at the last minute, everything gets saved. Very lucky for Zelon to keep that by speed. It has a new commander at the 2 o'clock position that has been undetected. But, okay, he switched back to Vultures. Vultures is good, man. Vultures are fast, nimble. They can lay mines, and if the Zerg player is not careful, they will, he will die very quickly. Some of these Vultures going to try to get inside the, the main base, but there's just Hydras that pop at the right moment. He will try to snipe as many drones as possible. He does get some drones, which is nice here. Uh, wow, that's a lot of drone kill. This base got wiped out. I mean, the entire drone line was, you know, ex exterminated there, so that was nice. Uh, but the game was still gone, 17-minute mark of the game, and there were just several big fights, but it's not yet conclusive who will come out ahead here. I need to finish this game soon so I can go to my janitor's shift, but I will uh, just stay with you for a little bit longer. Looks like uh, the upgrades are still standing at 1-1 for Terrant. Uh, for Zerg, we will just quick check that momentarily, but now the next attack against the fourth base of speed might be something dangerous we have just a couple of tanks but at least he's gonna be able to push the hydras back five base zerg player versus four base terran player <coughs> Excuse me, these queens are still hiding in the corner and generating energy. We have the sixth base coming up at the top. And this game is shaping up to be a nice macro game here. Very nice. Uh, I mean, if the Zerg player can survive late game against Mech and get a sizable amount of queen, then the game is not so difficult for them to play anymore. He could try to attempt drop as well at some point, I think. With these many hatcheries, um, it's, yeah, he could just encroach on the Terran uh, military. But anyways, a question for you guys, Zerg player, at this point, should it be worth it to switch to something else? Would Defiler work with Queens and Hydras here? Or would Ultralis work? I guess everything works if you have enough money. But the question is, how much money do you have, right? That is the question. Uh, and what you want to optimize. Another question I want to ask is, should you make Nidus Canals? I think Nidus Canals should be the obvious yes. In every single case, you need you need to make Nidus Canals, right? Especially when you're sprawling out like this and you take about 30 to 40% of the map. Those Queens come out and those riches will be the Terran's Tombstone, uh, where you can actually cast uh, baby Queens queens from behind uh, outside of the Terran field of vision. You see that ridge right here. There's no floating building. So those those Goliaths cannot protect and the attack comes in now. These queens are way too far forward. They need to cast the baby queen on the Goliaths maybe. He casts some on the tank. He goes from more tanks. All of these tanks have been wiped out. Hydra's attacking from the left side. But this operation was not successful enough, I think, for Zelot. He loses several queens in the process. Uh, he's gonna have to remake them, them queens soon. Uh, but his new hatchery is online, so that's good. Uh, I would still, you know, think it might be at some point better for Zerg to go for drop. I think drop would be not such a bad idea on this map, right? Especially from the southern lane. Anyways, these queens need to get pushed back. What the heck? They will all die. Run away, queenie boy. Uh, we don't have the player queen playing today. We just have queens a unit, but nice attack on this base to drive those SVs back. Attack from the other side of the map as well. No time will get clear out. SV is going to try to stop in the middle, but there's no attacking unit to support the SV, so they will all die. Do we have infestation? <laughs> infestation against the command center will be a nice thing to see. There's going to be infestation. Oh my freaking god, infestation! Uh, it's just a fun thing to to, to, to watch, right? Uh, how much money does it cost? It doesn't cost any up... Uh, you don't need to research anything to do infestation um, but you need to have energy I think anyways that time will fall and all of a sudden speed is not having any bases at all uh, we have some Goliaths here but looks like we have some slight base trade and more hatches coming out this hatch we will possibly fall because the tank is attacking from behind the mineral line but speed is not mining I guess he's still mining a little bit here from the inner 430 position, which is fine. Did we have infestation on the commander? I guess we don't because the queen is hanging out there, but the commander is not sufficiently burned. 
Nice attacks insane battles everywhere, but Speed is no longer with the supply lead. He's on the same supply as his, his enemy. Um, he takes out one hat tree, but he loses a command center in the process of so this benefit. The Zerg player looks like Speed, uh, Zealot's main base has been mined out. Nice attack coming back, and these Hydras will get wiped out here. But a new hatchet to top clock is buying so much time for for the for the Zer for the, Zer for the Zerg player. This command center doesn't have any protection. Okay, now it has a lot of protection, which is nice. Tan's gonna try to siege up here. Where are the rest of the queens? I think this is gonna be the moment to deploy them if they are still alive somewhere on this map. Uh, but we will have. Very nice, intense battles. Uh, one, two, three, four, five base Zerg economy versus three base uh, Terran economy. That's gonna be a nice mine dragged out. The mine will stop right in the middle. One tank will fall. One more tank will fall. The tank, no, it's not falling. It's got plus two weapons, very strong, and all of the Hydras exploded here. But Zealot has got so much supply, and there's gonna be an infested command center with the infested marine or whatever it's called, baby marines. Uh, this the baby marine will come out right now, and this will be a nice fun sight for all of us to watch here. The baby marine, it will come any moment now. No, it doesn't come. The command center is not gonna generate the baby thingy. He cancels it, and the command center. Okay, there's a baby thingy for the first time since I don't know eons. We see those baby marines come out. Infested Terran. Okay, I guess, I guess the official name is Infested Terran, guys, <laughs> not baby marines. Uh, definitely not zombie marine, but uh, we will have where are those drones going? I guess he did, he has a nidus canal somewhere. Or where, where's he sending the drones? Um, anyways, twenty first minute of the game, and the game is still going on. Zelot is finally leading in supply. Zerg, uh, excuse me, Terran's got plus two weapons, plus one armor. He's not upgrading anymore, and he need to decide to attack like. Just do a major attack somewhere, I think. But Zerk has got sufficient coverage everywhere. I think making turrets at this point would not be such a bad idea. Just make a crap ton of turret, which will slow down the Hydra's advancement. It will slow down the Queen's advancement. It will slow down everything. Um, and they're cheap as hell. Turrets are very cheap. Anyways, uh, Hydra's gonna try to attack against the third base now. It's gonna be a two-prong attack. There are only a few tanks. There are four, how many? Okay, there's a lot of tanks, but there are how many queens? There are two queens. They cast two of those grueling thingies that kill two tanks right away. The rest of the tanks are not enough in number to, to, to support here. We have one tank, two goliaths remaining of the forces to come in. Looks like Speed decided to go for counter-attack. I don't know about the ability of that move here. Uh, he will attack against just head on. The tanks are not siege. He's just going for just random main move. Hydras are not engaging correctly. Uh, all of the hydras with either three hydras on the top side are not being used. These hydras get pushed back. The tank will need to be in siege formation now, and you know, clumped up in the corner. I think he's attacking. He's gonna force. Okay, he does go for some nice siege move, and he keeps his other bases as well. But we have another small uh, squad of hydras coming on the high ground to force. Uh, this command center to lift. I think Hydra's gonna try to attack. How many tanks? Okay, where is he attacking? He's gonna try to come out here from both sides, the high ground and the low ground. He cleared some tanks. Uh, Zealot is ahead by about 20 supply. The game is freaking insane. I don't even know what these guys are doing exactly. One hatchery has fallen. I thought that the inner fortity was toasted, but that base is still alive. That base is still alive. The queen would not enough in number. This command center will fall. He's gonna try to snipe it at all costs. We have tanks returning from the high ground, from the low ground, from the left side. The hydras are gonna burn down. We need to repair before another infestation might occur. This will be the first time you have two infestation in a row, man. In a row, he's gonna try to snipe it, and the command center is ripe for infestation. Now the question is, can you get there on time to infest it? We have okay. We have another hatchery coming down at the six o'clock position. The game is just happening everywhere. But keep in mind, Zealot will be running out of minerals soon because he's mining inefficiently. He mined the the main bases first and the forward bases he mined later. Um, he need to make more queen, but he doesn't have the money to make it. He lost several queens in the previous engagements. Uh, but you know, keep in mind, speed third base at the inner four thirty is gonna get mine out soon as well. So both the players are going. Where are these drones going? Uh, okay, so he's going to a new base, which is fine. Okay, we have a new, new, new set of queens now. Seven queens coming out, and these tanks are completely unprotected. They're like the thing that you do with your girlfriend without the rubber stuff. Uh, anyways, uh, we're gonna be having the queens looking to go out here and attack. And this new base, oh my God, drones all died. 
I think there was like seven or eight drones getting sent and they all died. That was so unfortunate. Uh, and now uh, we're going to be having Zalot attacking. Queens are going to be coming, but they are on the low ground. The Queens are coming forward. They're going to be going for one tank, two tanks, three tanks. They all exploded. Very good Queen attacking. Hydra's coming from the low ground. We still have three tanks remaining. This last Queen will cast a good, good Broodling. Only two tanks remaining, but Hydra's are not enough in number to attack those tanks head on. And Zalot gets pushed back. Zalot is still ahead by about... 30 supply and speed is also running out of minerals on several locations. So that's going to be a problem. Can we go for drop? I think because we have overload speed already, it's not a far fetch to go from overload speed to overload drop research, right? Uh, and that would drive the tanks all the way back home. I feel, but plus three weapons and plus two armor is very strong. These vultures gonna try to go for attack. Looks like, uh, you know, there's some forgotten hydras on this map. Uh, they have not been used. There's so many forgotten units by the Zerg player. Um, he comes out here and does some attack, but he's gonna have to back down now. More hydras coming out, and where the rest of the queens? He needs to take a look at the mini map and try to see those forgotten forces and use them. Uh, Especially the one at the 12 o'clock position and the one at in the middle side and he uses the one in the middle side now So he knows about those forces. They're not forgotten. These vultures with speed are coming through and where are they going exactly? Oh my god, they're gonna head towards the 8 o'clock position. Are there drones? I don't know. Uh, there are just drones on gas. Okay, there are some drones on the minerals So they will all die and that was unfortunate. These vultures will go to the other base now at least or they will go to maybe the 6 o'clock base But some uh, hydrates are waiting in position already. These vultures would die uh, uh, before taking with them several SCVs in the game was stabilized. They're not still ahead by about 20 supply speed. Almost mine out in his third base. We will have what from both of these players who are waiting patiently for the next move that is going to get performed by these guys. So I'm going to take a chance to thank all my fans here. I'd like to thank this guy, Thomas, from the United States. Whatever you do, you know, keep it to yourself. I'd like to thank Shane. What's going on? Don't smoke too much. Smoking kills. Uh, and I'd like to thank Sea Goblins, you know, please wear some clothes because many people have complained about your nakedness on my channel. I'd like to thank Matt. Thank you for your early comment in the previous video. Ha ha ha. Are you still here? And finally, I'd like to thank you, Mr. Greg from Poland. I'd like to visit your country and your city at some point in the future. If any of you guys are enjoying this game, feel free to buy me a coffee. Any amount works. Two dollars, one dollar, one cent works in my country. One dollar is like ten dollars in your country. So that's how the conversion works, right? Uh, anyways, we're going to be having vultures trying to snipe some drones here. Uh, okay, looks like Zella has got a decent supply lead, 30 supply lead. He's not that much ahead in bases, but uh, I guess he's got a lot of hydras. Basically, that's how it is. Uh, anyways, looks like all of the idle forces for Zerg has been discovered. 27 minutes of the game. The game is still going on. Um, and yeah, Ten would need to try to take the base at some point in the future. As for Zerg, um, I still stand by the you know the ass assessment that switching into Overlord Drop would be a great idea. But anyways, this hatch will fall because Terran is just so, 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 so good here. So strong. But the Queen will have the reach. They will have the advantage of vision. These drones will need to run away. Uh, we're going to be having the attack against this other base. And Hind is going to get bleeded. The drones need to get evacuated. Where are the Queen's going? He might decide to sack this base and go for the attack against the 2 o'clock position. It might be the right idea. The Queen's are waiting patiently. Um... Uh, you know, the queens are very mobile, and on Minstrel, you have several lanes you can exploit. You need not to stop losing hydras like this. There are only three tanks here. The rest of the tanks need to back out now because this this hatchery is fallen already. Looks like the attack has commenced. There are three tanks all the way in the back. Where are the queens? There are the queens. And it looks like the Goliaths are not paying attention. They will start to attack. And nice baby queens. And these Goliaths are toasted. So one base for one base, one hatchery for one command center. This is going to be the critical, the critical base though for speed because his other base is not really mining efficiently. The tanks have started to move across and start to go towards the bottom left of the screen. Uh, that is also going to be problematic if he loses that base Zelot because he would be down to zero mining bases with the exception of the brand new base he's trying to set up at the inner 10 o'clock position. Both of the players are going to be going very low econ supply while Zelot is still leading by 20 supply. Drones finally come out towards a new base. We still have more queens in the back that are not being used. Drones are evacuated towards the other bases. You know, Nidus Canal would be a great, great move here, but he doesn't go for them. Uh, this 
command center will get infested. Maybe I don't know. No, he he doesn't get infested. If you just die, because there's no no more time for fun stuff, right? You need every single queen. You need all of your energy. Uh, we will have five queens here. These tanks have killed out, so there's no there's no point to get on the high ground. The queen will engage themselves now. Good attack. There's no scan. There's no scan. More attack, and this might be the final battle. All of these tanks have died. One more attack, and this was a nice, you know, uh, uh, in French we say piège. I guess in English would be trap. That was a great trap here that uh, Zelot has set up for speed to speed tube, and he's ahead by about 40 supply. Looks like we're going to be having a floating command center. All of the Terran players, all of the Terran forces are concentrating at this area. He would take this base for himself. He need to hold it at all costs because now he's down to zero mining bases. As for Zelot, he's trying to set up new hatcheries and they will, I guess, work, right? He's setting up two new hatcheries and Terran is concentrated into a ball. But this base is really hard to hold because of the rich on the north side. That provides visibility advantage for the Queens. These two tanks are going to try to move towards the other base and it looks like the Queens are waiting to catch them off guard. But now Terran is completely cut off from his main base. He cannot reinforce. I think would, would making some vultures be a good idea at this point? Looks like the commands need to land now. There's going to be a nice attack against the main base. Uh, these queens are waiting to cast something against any... Okay, there's going to be... All right, a nice, nice commands that infested the second infested commands that are in a row in this game. Look at those bleeding, uh, pumping, thudding hearts, right? Uh, is that the heart of the commands that are? Very weird to think that the command center has a heart and coronary system. Uh, but we will have possibly the final battle now. Zelot ahead by about 30 supply. He's got a fresh new base. This command center, turrets. Yeah, turrets, come on, man. Does it take you that long to realize that turrets is the answer to the game here? Make turrets. God damn it. They're so easy, so cheap. Uh, it costs only minerals. I guess minerals are spare. But this single, yeah, make vultures. Vultures and turrets will be what you need, man, in this late game. Anyways, looks like the, the, the floating science vessels, the science facility is the, also the key to victory here. You need to have a floating building to see those riches. I mean, this, even, I'm a, not a pro game, but I know that for a fact. You need to have that. Anyways, the tanks are being protected by the command center. Looks like we're going to be having the Goliaths need to protect, and he will cast a good something. Uh, attack from the other side, and Queen comes through, but they get pushed back, and that was an overcommitment by Zelot. Speed is holding his right here. And Voch is coming from the back. Uh, Zelot is leading still, but he's got to be very careful. He's got to be very careful because all of his new bases are so close to his Tarrant. Uh, and these Vultures, you know, squad coming out, which just snipe things very quickly. Um, looks like Voch is going to try to come out here. And, uh, yeah, this base is allowed to mine. I mean, look at the way that the game has, you know, has kind of developed here, right? Terran took the inner 430, then he took the 230, and now he takes a 6 o'clock position. It'd be very funny if eventually Speed takes the bottom left, because there are no other bases he could take. Anyways, more drones getting sniped, and these watches gonna go inside the main, and that's just creating a lot more problems. Like he's attacking the... He's gonna be going for Parasite, which is a good move. I would just say go for Baby, baby Queen on the Goliath, man. Go for Baby Queen on the Goliath. Uh, okay, these watches gonna be hiding in the corner, so no more additional, no more additional, uh, you know, drones on those bases or gas intake. Uh, Xenos gas count is also going up very slowly, guys. Keep that in mind. And speed vultures, you know, no pun intended, is coming out and trying to recover. They're gonna try to lay mines. Oh my God, this base with so many drones will fall really quickly. Need to protect those drone blind at all costs. Where are the vultures going? There's a base at the six o'clock position that possibly speed doesn't know about. He has not sent any single. We have a hatchery coming up at the 2 o'clock position. What insanity are we witnessing? What are these guys are taking the other guys' old bases? Uh, and the game is still going on. I will need to put this game in the list of best game for this year. This game was insane. Anyways, Queen will come out to make the baby broolings uh, on the Goliaths. That was uh, not needed. Redundancy, right? Baby broolings. Um, anyways, these vultures will try to take out the Hydrodent. Uh, Queen cannot attack against the vulture. He can start to make maybe, uh, you know, I don't know. The spying thingy on the vultures <laughs> to get vision. Okay, that is going to be a command center. Can you mine with a command center? That's the question, right? Can you mine? Can you send drones there and collect money and give it back to the command center? That would be the funniest thing. That, that should be an added feature. You can steal command centers and make them mineable. Uh, you know, these vultures are doing a lot of attacks here. Zelot is still ahead by about 40 supply. These vultures are going to try to come out there. Uh, and these drones... He's uh, he's forced to remake a lot of drones, and that vulture finally dies. So Zelot is still leading, man, because speed is completely cut off. 
from his you know f expansion and the main and he's got only two commands that are keep in mind you know what another thing that the zerg player could make right now would be lurker because there are there are no scanners there's, 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 I think there are only two commands that is, I think the, the one in the main might have been floated out already, so there are no scanners. So if you just make a single lurker, you would just completely dominate, right, I think. But of course, you know, in this late game situation, everything is possible. Those queens have full energy now. It's time to go out there and spend the energy, right? It's like you guys, right? Uh, you, oh my god, use your energy! Cast them on the Goliaths or cast them somewhere onto something. The game is still going on 34 minutes. I need to go to my shift now. I cannot wait. I cannot delay my shift any longer or my shift manager would just completely fire me. This might be the final battle here. Looks like Queen, not Queen, excuse me. Uh, Zealot's Queen is going to get pushed back. And speed still behind by 40 supply. The final battle might come now. Hydra's attacking from both sides. We have baby Brulings getting spawned. One, two... Three and that's gonna be the final battle. If you've enjoyed this game, feel free to buy me a coffee because Zelot has done it. He's come back from behind and won it for the Zerg race. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next week. I hope there's gonna be infestation. The last infestation, no, there isn't gonna be anything. It's gonna be just humiliation, uh, but also dedication for these players for sticking with us for such a long time. These watches, I don't know what exactly what they can try to accomplish, but GG from Speed. Great week. Thanks for watching. And see you soon. Bye bye.